Hello everyone, in this video we are going to learn that how we can install Flutter in our application and how we can run our first Flutter application. So in order to run your Flutter application or install Flutter in your system, you need to you need a, a, a system with following requirements. You should have a system with at least i5 5th generation series uh, system and with a minimum 8 GB RAM and a SSD so you your application your system should have these following requirements and if your system doesn't have these requirements then you will fail fail to run the application on or, or you will see some errors or your application will run um, uh, slowly so these kind of things will happen so uh, what we need to run or install flutter application in our system so the first thing we need is the flutter SDK flutter installation setup that we can uh, download easily from the flutter website and the third th second thing we need is the uh, uh, code editor and I recommend you to download the Visual Studio code editor and the third thing we need is the Android Studio uh, that help us to run our application in uh, the emulators so let's go to the Google and download flutter so to download flutter you just need to search flutter and download and as you can see the first link that is came up is the flutter uh, website so uh, just go to the website and from this website uh, you can find the get it started button and let's go and click this get it started button and as you can see from here you can easily download your flutter application so uh, let's download the flutter installation setup from here I'm skipping the downloading part because uh, to save the time of the video but this is just a basic installation now after downloading the flutter installation flutter SDK flutter installation you just need to extract it and paste this flutter folder into your c drive so if i go to my c drive so this is my c drive and as you can see in my c drive i have this flutter folder because i already paste that folder in this c drive so you need you just need to copy and paste the flutter uh, setup in here in your c drive so after downloading and installation of flutter you need to download the second thing that is a code editor if you have already then you are good to go but you need to install it if you doesn't have any code editor so let's go to the google and search for visual studio code let's go to the website and from here you can easily download this code editor by clicking the download button and I am skipping the downloading part because it is a simple software you are you can easily download it and install it in your system now the third thing that we need to install is the Android studio and that is the most important thing because it will help us to uh, run our application in our emulator so to download it you just need to go to the Google and search for Android studio download and as you can see as always the first thing that is came up is the Android Studio uh, link just go to this link and from here you can easily download it from here I'm again skipping the downloading part to save the time of the video because it is the simple software to install so after downloading and installing these three softwares in your uh, machine now you need to uh, install your flutter your first flutter application but before that you need to do one more thing that is you need to set up the environmental variables to set up the environmental variables in your uh, machine in your windows just search for environmental variables and go to this envi environmental variables option and from this window you can easily add or edit your environmental variables for windows it is a very necessary thing because your window should know that what a command or what software uh, you are using so click this add button and click the uh, folder search for the folder that you want to add and just go to the c drive and just go to the folder that is flutter Web's folder and from this folder you need to choose the bin folder so as you can see the 
filter environmental variable has been added but as i said i already added at the top so i need to remove the second one so after adding the environmental variables in your windows you are good to go to create your first flutter application so first of all let's open the command prompt cmd and uh, before creating your application you need to run a command that is flutter doctor command and this command will tell you what sdks or what requirements you are missing in your flutter installation and as you can see it is checking if any sdks or requirements is missing in our machine and as you can see no issues found so we are good to go to create our application now to create our first uh, flutter application we just need to write flutter create and the name of the project that we want to create so let's uh, choose my first app and this will create our flutter application and it takes some time basically it depends on your system requirements system speed and configuration and as you can see our first flutter application with a name my first app has been created so let's open this uh, project in our visual studio code let's go to the my first app folder and let's open it up in our visual studio code editor and as you can see this is our first flutter application in our visual studio code okay so after installing first of all in our visual studio code we need to install an extension for flutter and search here flutter and this is the extension that we need to install for flutter development so i already have installed it in my visual studio code but you can install it by just clicking the install button so we have successfully created our flutter application now we need to run this application that is our important part so to run the application you can just click this run button at the top of your visual studio code that you can see click this run button and you will see two options here uh, run without debugging and run with debugging so uh, you can run uh, click any button or you can go to the terminal and run a command that is flutter run and with this command we can easily run our application in our emulator and as you can see our emulator has been started uh, by android studio it is now showing a black screen because our application is in uh, progress as you can see our application is now running in our emulator and this is a dummy application this is a simple application whenever you install a new flutter application you will find this design you will find this application as it is so we are successfully installed and run our application our first flutter application and i hope that this video will help you to install and run your first flutter application and if you face any issues you if you face any problems any queries if you have uh, feel free to ask me in the comment box